Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo prestige nightfall. I'm doing it on the Warlock, I'm doing it on Dawnblade, so that means I'm going to be running with Solar Singe. I've also got Heavyweight and Extinguish on my scorecard. Bottom sub, bottom class of the tree of the subclass, Solar Flare, Grenade and Empowering Rift. We're running with Better Devils, Solar Manan and Solar Sins of the Past, and I've also got Luna Faction boots on. My setup, I think, is 7 recovery, 7 resilience, no mobility because the Manana gives me all the mobility I need. And that's why I don't run momentum because I don't do a lot of kind of jumping about. I'm, I'm more of a strategist than, than jumping about. Although, if you're a player that does like to move a lot, and momentum is really good for this. So this first, the first section we're going to come up against... You can just run right past it. Momentum really helps getting past it, but I found that I was being tagged too much by the snipers and they were just, they were blowing up my spiral too much. So what I do is I take out the two snipers up on the top left ridge, the sniper up on the top right ridge, take out any acolytes I can see from my starting position, then just ride past the rest of the, the ads. So yeah, th this run was really good. I managed to one phase the boss, which is pretty impressive, I think, on Dawnblade seen it being done on Void Walker. A few friends of mine have actually done it. Uh, and I, I got into a conversation with one of them, Shablon91. You've probably heard me reference him before. He's a very good player. Nice guy. You should check out his videos. Uh, his site's called Shablon91, by the way, his channel. Have a look at his stuff. Uh, so we got in a conversation, and he actually he said that he'd like to see that being done. It got me even more determined to do it. I done a run earlier today and I used I didn't use rocket because I've kind of gone off using rockets. I feel like I prefer the precision weapon more than just the area effect weapon. But rockets are really good for this. I done it with the tarantula which I was put onto by another friend of mine. Uh, shout out to uh, Pyro Gaming. A lot of you guys might have heard that name. He actually put me on to the fact that the tarantula was nearly as good as the sleeper, and he wasn't wrong. 4 in the mag, 14 in reserve, more range, brilliant weapon, you should check it out. So when you get to this first section, I like to take out the 4 acolytes up on the right hand side. Just saves me having to deal with bombs. Then you've got this ultra knight, the, 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 the arc shielded knight. He can be troublesome, so you want to try and get him out of the way. It's not always feasible to get him out of the way straight away, but as you can see, we've now got the ultra, the mini ultra boss. Now the mini ultra boss will either be a shrieker or a, an ogre. Whatever it is in the first section, the next section that has the ultra knight, the ultra mini ultra boss will be the same as this. So if you get if you get a shrieker here, we've got an ogre this time. So if you get an ogre here, you'll get an ogre in the in the next kind of area like this. And if it's a shrieker, you'll get a shrieker. So once you've killed enough ads, pushed forward far enough, I, I managed to kill the two yellow bar acolytes i think that must have triggered the next section because now i've got this knight and the ultra so what we're going to do here is put a put a rocket down here just take out a heap of ads and then i've got some heavy heavy ammo here now i'll take the ogre out it's, it's basically one rocket for the ogre clear up the rest of the ads uh, shoot the core activate the panel shoot the core and then we'll move through to the next area. Now the next area, we're not actually going to engage any ads. No need to. Uh, <clears throat> and we're not going to bush jump either. We just jog right through. The less noise, it really is, the less noise you make, the less ads become alerted to your presence. You might have seen in my videos, I always go to that right hand side panel. I have no idea why I do that. I know it's this panel and I always go for the next one. Anyway. On to the next section, we're just going to jog past this. And then the, 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 ne the section after this, which is our next encounter, just starting with an uh, an ultra arc shielded uh, hive knight and four acolytes. So there'll be two acolytes right in front of you. Take those. Well, well that's what I do. I take these two out. And I, I was kind of lucky that I managed to maneuver the knight into a position where... I fired a rocket I would take him and the two acolytes now these are very frustrating knights they gener regenerate their shield far too quickly they put up that kind of hive shield too often 
So I, I, I thought, as you can see, he's got very little left. I thought I'd be able to just take him. So I get a couple of shots. I'm getting heavy damage, but I'm still chasing him. He's got his shield up. And now he just starts spamming his own shield, not the, not the arc shield, the hive shield that they can put up. And that is too much. To, they, they get to put that up too much, and he actually regenerates quite a bit of his health back. F from someone who I almost had killed. And it got to the point I had to fire a rocket at him. Bungie, you really need to do something about these hive knights. It's too much. So, eventually, I'd had enough of them. So now you kill, you've killed all the ads, you activate this plate, now you're going to get a, a, a couple of waves of ads. So I always go down to the left here and put a grenade in the first shadow rift and then fight the rest of the ads. Once you've killed enough of these ads, you'll get another ultra arc shielded hive knight. The, 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 the way to activate the next set of ads after that isn't the knight. It's the Acolytes, so don't kill the Acolytes before you kill the Knight. Make sure you kill that Knight, then kill the Acolytes. So you'll see what I mean. Once you take this Exploder out, you're going to have... You can take these Acolytes, it's when the Hive Knight spawns in. You'll have, like, a couple of Acolytes this side. You'll have the Hive Knight, and then you'll have a couple of Acolytes on the other side. Make sure you take out the Hive Knight before you clear the Acolytes. If not, you're going to get the next wave of Ultras and you'll already have an Ultra up. Now this Ultra will start chasing you. So you kind of want him, you don't you don't want to have a crazy Ultra Hive Knight chasing you about when you've got two or three other Ultras in the area at the same time. Yes, I know how bad that rocket was. We'll just leave it at that. So now he's down. Uh... I'm going to take out the last couple of Acolytes, which will then bring out the next Ultras. You can either have a Hive Knight here, which is not what you want, especially on an Arc subclass, or you can have a Wizard, which is what I was hoping for, because it's all a shield. Now, your kind of job now is to activate the... get the, the Valkyrie out. The way to get the Valkyrie out is these Knights that are running about with shields, kill one of them. And that will activate the Valkyrie. If, like me, you're taking massive damage, and if, like me, you're weird and haven't put momentum on, you're really going to want to clear out some some uh, some acolytes before you go for that. So that's kind of the idea. You don't have to do what I'm doing here. I just wanted to be safer before I went for the Valkyrie. So I'm going to take out as many of these acolytes as possible because the acolytes can really hit hard because they, they, they team shot. So now, as you can see, it's just me. Them, I, I can't remember if there's any acolytes left, but I, there's definitely two ultra knights. And I'll, I'm kind of, I'm kind of bad for this stuff because they've given me a bit of hassle. I want them all dead. <laughs> I kind of do take this personally, so I'm gonna kill them all. And kind of because, because you can take a bit of damage from them when, if you don't kill them all, you can take a little bit of damage from them. You've got to throw one of the Valkyries into this. You don't have to use the Valkyrie, but I do. So, use the Valkyrie up because you'll, you'll get constant Valkyries out until, of course, you throw a Valkyrie into the core. So what I do is I get a fresh Valkyrie, throw one in the core, make it to the next section. Now I've got three or four Valkyries I can use to clear these, these uh, Shadow Rifts. This is the next area we were talking about. If you get a Shrieker in the first area, you'll get a Shrieker here. Well, because we got uh, an Ogre, we're going to get an Ogre here. This doorway, every doorway is the same, except for the very last room before the boss. The very last room full of ads, the one with the big Ogre. Uh, every other doorway, bar that one's the same. It's a safe point. You can go back into the doorway and the ads won't encroach. If you do it in that area, uh, it will it will make you join allies. So you can't do it in that area. As you can see, most of the ogres, bar that last big ultra and the ogre, are one hits with the, the rockets. So now what you want to do is clear out some acolytes. If you push the further across this map you push, you will then activate the last kind of wave of ads, which is 
couple of waves of uh, cursed world at the top of the stairs. You can take them all out. If you take the right ones out, you, you'll cause you'll cause a chain effect, and that will clear them all. Take out the the acolytes, <coughs> activate the activate the the panel, and then you're through to the last section. So this section I had a bit of a problem with working out how I was going to do kind of fast damage to the ogre. So the way this last section works is when you go in, you'll have some acolytes right in front of you. Kill three of them and you will then generate a shielded hive knight. Once you kill the shielded hive knight, you will then generate a massive ogre. The idea is, especially because of the what we've got on heavyweight, two rockets is enough to kill this ogre. Now you've got to be really kind of careful because we're on Solar Singe. Uh, the enemies all fire hive grenades at you. <clears throat> I didn't really want to fire my super here, but it got me out of trouble. If I'd have felt like I was going to die, the bottom tree has a thing where if you hold uh, B or red you know, right on the circle or a or sorry B whichever platform you're playing on you will then descend from the air down and it will regenerate health also it lands like a, it's a bit of a solar explosion so once you activate that core once you go back in I run through because you can't always pick up the Valkyrie so I run through if I can't pick it up come back pick it up and once you once you throw it in the core that despawns all the ads in this area you can come back collect ammo then you can go in and grab the new super powered Valkyrie. You can take it out into the open area, but I don't see many people survive. Take the ads, the ads you can take from inside this room. There's a few kind of shielded orange bar. I'm starting to believe, I've asked this question in my videos before, I think the orange bars now are ultra are majors. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with that. Yellow bars are ultras, orange bars are majors. So there's a couple of majors out in this this area. They're the real ones. The only kind of things you've got to worry about. I think there's there's two of th there's there's two kind of yellow, orange bars. Which one of them you can take with the Valkyrie? The other one I'm just shooting here. And then there's a, uh, a shielded knight, a knight with a shield. Uh, and he will he will push down. He's not too much of a problem because you can just back away, like I've said before, into that room. He will then go and hide around the corner, and you can just come out and get shots on his face and shots on his head, his legs. and You know, you don't really have to 1v1 him. <laughs> what, is it just me, or any time I hear that, I, I, I always add bro at the end. 1v1 me, bro. So, yep. Go back, thank you very much. <laughs> Go back and grab that Valkyrie, please, so I can say, when you come out in this area, it's worthwhile to grab the Valkyrie and go and use that to take out the last couple of ads. You have to be careful here, because as you'll see, I really kind of run it close because I get, I really get focused fired by those Acolytes. The Acolytes can be more dangerous than the Knights. So there we go. We've made it to the end. The things to remember when you get to the end is full rockets, full super, grenade, and your rift. And it's the order in which you're going to attack Zolin that enables the the one phase. Now, one phase basically means you're going to take nearly all of his health off him at his spawn. He will then not go from side to side. He will go right to the center of the map and come up and do a last stand. And you also miss out all the waves of ads. So jump down, go right against this this kind of block thing here. A grenade, which actually that could have been a really bad grenade, but it turned out to be very good. Then I pop my super. That gives his, the trunk of his body time to get into a position it's not going to move from. I found that right at the start, it kind of sways. So you just make sure you get all, all your rockets and make sure they hit, hit them in the centre. There we go. What he's going to do now is 
He's had enough for the day. He's going to bugger off and then he's going to come back up at the back and we're going to hit him once. Once you've done that, you will activate this next wave of ads, which I believe is two ogres and a, a red bar shielded knight, a knight with a shield. Now, I forgot that the knight was coming. So I'm like looking for the next wave of ads and I seen just like, and then he just comes around the corner like, oh, <laughs> run. So, <laughs> so I run away here, and because he's just a normal red bar, I'm just going to crit, 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 crit. I'm not going to run away anymore. I can just hit him like that, and then wait for him to come and melee me. He's quite low. I've got a solar melee. You know, I've, I've managed to get some heavy, so I'm going to try and just do some damage on the ogres. I want to keep a rocket for Zol. You know, I don't want to use all my rockets... And that's that's another thing, and it's it, it's been a thing since since Destiny. The ogres can shoot your grenade, so you've got to be careful when you're throwing grenades at ogres. So I think now we're going to get another wave of ads. We're going to get some acolytes and some thrall. It's not a lot, and and that's really the run. There's always going to come up for his last stand. Once you've cleared these ads, there's always going to come up right at the back where we're facing right now for his last uh, last stand. What you're going to do is put that rocket on him, and that's it. You have to be careful though with the rocket. You know, don't try and don't don't do anything fancy. Wait for him to come up and do a scream, and then hit him in the biggest part of his body. And that that's the run. That is the run. You know, the the place you're in now is pretty safe. Back area is pretty safe for these ads. There aren't many ads that spawn. You you have cleared, you have cleared nearly all. You skipped all the waves of ads. As you can see, we've got what we've got. What heavy ammo? I've got more heavy ammo. I actually noticed when I was doing this that I could have. I wasn't sure that I'd actually done the one phase because I didn't see how much health he had. So I was like, hmm, I've got a couple of rockets and my super, and it turned out all I needed was one rocket. So thanks, thanks again, guys, for watching the video. I appreciate everybody that if you do, if if you do like this video don't forget leave it a thumbs up if you've got any questions about this or any other video any content you'd like to see any questions you want to ask feel free to leave a comment I'll answer as many as I can and again thank you very much for watching guys take it easy and I'll see you in the next video Team, if I do say so myself.